Hi, I'm Jerry Gibbs, and today I'd like to introduce you to this range of dehumidifiers from Ecor Pro. This particular machine is the largest of the Ecor Pro range and produces about 400 cubic meters of dry air per hour. This is a desiccant dehumidifier. Desiccant dehumidifiers differ very, very much from refrigerant dehumidifiers. These are absorption dryers. They don't convert water vapor in the air into a liquid by condensing it. They absorb the water from the air. And the way they work is quite simple. Inside the machine is a wheel made of a desiccant or absorption material. Humid air that we're trying to dry comes into the machine, goes through the wheel, and the water that was in the air is then absorbed into the wheel, and dry air continues out. That dry air is the air that we're going to use to dry our materials. The machine itself then needs to dry its wheel. How it does that is take air through a filter against the wheel and blows that humidity back off the wheel and pumps it out of the machine in a humid air outlet. Other types of machine may do it in a slightly different way. We often see air coming in, going through the wheel and being reused by the same fan. In this particular machine, two fans are used, which allows the machine to work both in the chamber or area which wishes to dry or outside of it because air can be pumped in the dry air or the regenerative air to clean the machine can be pumped in and out too. The machine is very easy to set up. We really just need to put ducting on the machine. If the machine is standing in the area we wish to dry, no air inlet or outlet ducting is needed because the machine's working in a recirculation mode. The only air inputs we need are the air from the regeneration to dry the machine coming in and then leaving our enclosure. If we were drying outside of an enclosure, all we need to fit to the machine then is the exhaust air, which is a humid air outlet, and the dry air, which is going to go into that drying chamber. To set up the machine after that, the rest of it's quite straightforward. We just need to turn the machine on and off. We have an hour counter and a kilowatt counter, so we can see what the machine is doing. The machine is available in 110 volts or 240 volts, uh, whether we're working in European or American or on the 110 site safe rules that we have over here. The machine can be controlled by a humidity stat, which can plug in. The humidity stat would set the chamber or the area the machine is working at, at the set value. If the humidity stat's not fitted, the machine just works at full capacity and the air that it processes would then become drier and drier and drier. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. For further information, please see one of the many tutorials we have available online.